Alright everybody, so this is going to be an old school update. The tank is officially one month old. We're going to take a look at everything real quick and just see how everything's doing. Alright, so in case you guys don't know, what I mean by old school update is we're just going to hold the camera, point and shoot, and walk right through this update. Let's get some light on the subject. So, you guys know this is my DIY Corian sump. Just so you know, in less than a month, this will not be here. Something brand new is coming up, some exciting new things. Oh, I got lots of exciting new things. So you definitely want to stay tuned. So, quick update. Everything has been in my house, in my possession for a year. Even though the tank's only a month old, um, everything has been cleaned and yada, yada, yada. So it's like a brand new system again. Brand new clean equipment, brand new sand, rock, water, pipes, everything. So uh, ATO's doing fine. Pumps are doing good. JBJ Auto Top Off's fine. I did get to clean the um, check valve. Nothing like a good, clean check valve. Refugium section's doing good. I haven't put the baskets in here yet. And then I decided not to put them in here because like I said, this sump will not be here very soon. And let's do an update on this protein skimmer. So if you didn't see my video on the Reef Octopus Essence 130, you need to go check that out. Uh, this skimmer is fantastic. So a couple of you have asked, how's it doing? Well, it's doing perfect. So far, so good. It's right where I left it when I originally installed it. I have not touched it. I cleaned out the collection cup once, and when I installed it, after 10 minutes, it was producing skimmy. Anybody that knows me knows I've had lots of problems with my Bubble Magus Curve 5, and for the past year, it's just, it would skim and then overflow, skim and then overflow. This thing, can you hear it? The only thing you can hear is the bubbles. That noise is the return pump. It's just a little light humming noise. It's not, you can't even, once I close the doors, you can't even hear it. But this skimmer, freaking fabulous. Totally awesome, super silent, producing skimming, pulling all kinds of nasty junk out. So, thumbs up to the Reef, Octo, Reef Octopus Octo 130 Protein Skimmer. Kill these lights, shut the doors, and we'll look at the canopy. Canopy's all done. Ugh. It's all painted. Of course, you can't really see it because there's no lights on. Oh, look at that paint job. Look at that shine. Bear Ultra, been telling you guys. And basic door system. Um, look at that. It cleans up so nice and easily too. If there's any salt creep or anything on it, take a wet towel and just wipe it down. Like you see how there's some here from having my hands in my tank? Just take a wet rag, wipe it off, done. These are those little DIY brackets that I have for the um, Reef Bright. I'm probably just gonna take these off one. Ah, you know what, now that I think about it, I'm probably just gonna put some tape around them and paint them black with the bear to make a match. I don't know. I'll just, I'll probably just leave them there. It's not like I ever see them really, unless I'm working on the tank. So that's it for the, uh, oh, and in case you haven't seen one of my canopies, you know, I, look at that shine. Woo. But anyway, um, I put this piece of trim so that when the door closes, you can't whoosh. see there's a gap here. Well, that covers it so that there's no light shining through. Look at the shine, people. That is a nice canopy. All right, so let's look at the tank. We'll go over a few things. Actually, let me put on one of my new favorite things, which is my polyp labs. Let me get that like this, and then I adjust the brightness a little bit. There we go. So all the fish are doing just fine after the 
empty tank disaster that I had a month ago. All the fish are fine. No signs of any kind of sickness or illness. They're all eating. They're all getting along. They're actually waiting for dinner. So that's why they're all in front of the camera chilling. They always do this though, all day. These six Chromas, back and forth all day. Love them, can't get enough of my Chromas. So I have moved a few corals around. I had a big frog spawn right here and I ended up putting it over here. Um, there's some stuff on the frag rack back there. Those are gonna be going somewhere else. We'll talk about that at another date and time. Same with these. In case you guys are wondering, there's Bob. Let me see if I can get a focus on him. There he is. He's actually getting some color back. You can start to see some green and a little yellow. So come on, Bob. He's just got to get as big as this disc again. Then he'll be happy. Uh, got some really nice acans that have been grown out for quite a while. Got these new um, gold mini Tonga torches or micro torches, you call them. And uh, but yeah, everything's doing real good. Yep, it's old school, so we're gonna have some blurriness. Um, so yeah, the sand bed is doing fine. It went through its little diatom phase. The rocks went through its little diatom phase and uh, the fish all have found a bed for the night. So they're doing quite well. Some corals are still trying to get used to the new tank. Um, I have actually, you guys know me that I've been leaving a cans on the sand bed. This tank will have nothing on the sand bed. I guarantee that. Um, I've been actually gluing a bunch of a cans here. There's some that are still on discs. I'm not sure what I'm doing with them yet, but I'm actually gluing some a cans on the rock. Believe it or not, the SPS are doing pretty good. The other day I was freaking out because some of them had their polyps sucked in all the way, and they're back to doing just fine now. So it's just me being, oh no, what's wrong? But then they're fine the day later. So I got some Zoas spread out. I got some SPS at the top of the tank. Nothing fancy, I'm not really a fancy person. Um, I did find a solid yellow Duncan and you can see here it's not liking something right now. I don't know, you can almost see it. It's, you know, I just glued it there the other day and I was a little rough with it so maybe that's why, but we'll see. Duncans can be very weird and they can close and never open again, but that's it. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on how everything's doing. It's doing good. I'm very happy. I'm going to feed the fish now and uh, probably either call Fishy, Snowman, Dave's Nano Tanks, or uh, Murphy's Aquatics because that's what I do every day. I talk to all three of those guys for at least five minutes to three hours per day. That is my regimen. So, yep. Yeah. Oh, here's the... Uh, Pink Fusions, here's the Purple Monsters, I believe they're called. Yeah, those are the Rastas, the Armageddons, Blue Lagoons, Random Dragon Breath Zoanthids. Um, I did find my little, you see the little orange mushroom right there? That is the Jawbreaker, and there's actually a little baby next to it. This mushroom down here, it's a metallic orange. You can look at it. There's not even any light hitting it, but look how bright orange it is. That guy's not doing too good. Super shriveled up. He's usually so happy that you can't see the rock that he's on, but he's a mushroom. He'll bounce back. And, uh, oh, I have some utter chaos. Uh, a nice, right back there, it's a nice colony of Rastas. Then the Blood Wars, and then to the right of them, is a couple frags of mind-blowing pallies. So, Fishy Snowman, you'd be proud of me. I know the names of all my zoanthids. I bet you you don't know the name of all your zoanthids. I know you got a lot, but that's it. Everything's doing good. Oh, I did put the, um, ooh, come on, focus, there it is. This is the Jason Fox Alien Pox um, Cyphastria. I love this one. It's Polyps are kind of out, but you know, uh, there's the side shot. The tank was super cloudy for a really long time, like a solid three weeks, but it is ultra clear now. Very happy with the way everything's going. Uh, and I've started to settle down and not worry about the tank exploding. So that's it. We are about nine and a half minutes in. 
probably like 9.45 with the intro in the beginning. But yeah, canopy's complete. The rock work is freaking awesome. Love it. Look at the, it's just, oh man, guys. If you know me, man, I love this rockscape. Whew. Maybe one day what I'll do is I'll just put some white lights over it so we can really see what it looks like. But you can kind of get the idea of it. I'll have to definitely do a top-down shot of it coming up soon. But everything's doing good. I did have a casualty, actually, now that I think about it. Back there is the Fascination Fabia that was encrusted that I had on a piece of rock. Well, I had it sitting right here for three weeks and I came home and I don't know what happened but it blew off and it was upside down on this frog spawn and boy did that frog spawn whoop that thing's ass you can't see it the back side of it is just all melted man you feel you are bad but um, yeah it burned up my fascination Fabia but I know a guy that sells them so I can go get another piece so there it is thanks for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed this mini update like I said you better hit that notification bell. You gotta be subscribed because there's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff. This sump's going bye-bye. You guys know how much I love that sump, but I think I have something that you guys are gonna love. So stay tuned, all right? That's it, I'm out. Now we're at 11 minutes and I'm not gonna ramble anymore. Cue that outro.